upcycle clothing designers. I'm Sunju and welcome to my channel. In this channel, I teach how to transform old clothes into fashionable pieces. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to upcycle a t-shirt into crop tops. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more fun upcycle projects. Grab your old t-shirts and let's get started. For this one shoulder crop top tutorial, start by folding the t-shirt in half. Mark 18 inches down from the high point on the shoulder. Draw a straight line across and cut to make a crop top. To make the one shoulder neckline, mark 4 inches up from the shoulder seam on one side. Also mark 1 inch down from the underarm seam on the opposite side. Use fabric chalk to draw a line connecting the two marks. Cut along the line to make the new neckline. To make the new neckband, measure the length of the new neckline. Use the fabric scrap to cut a 2 inches wide piece. Attach the neckband to the wrong side of the neckline. To finish the neckband, fold the fabric over the neck opening and attach the band to the other side. To finish the hemline, half inch top stitch along the bottom to complete this DIY one shoulder crop top. For this ruffled crop top tutorial, start by folding the t-shirt in half lengthwise. Mark 16 inches down from the high point of the shoulder. Draw a straight line across and cut to make a crop top. To make the ruffles, cut the hem of the bottom of the fabric piece and fold the fabric in half lengthwise. From the folded center line, mark a quarter circle that is 3 inches wide. From the folded center line, mark a second quarter circle that is 6 inches wide. Cut along the both lines resulting in a 12 inch wide circle with the hole in the center. Trace the circle onto another piece of scrap fabric and cut a matching circle with center hole. Cut along both armhole seams to detach the sleeves. Fold the top in half lengthwise. Mark 3 inches from the folded line on the bottom opening. Mark 3 inches from the neckband on the shoulder seam. Draw a straight line to connect the both points. Cut along the lines to detach the center of the top from both sides. To attach the ruffles, Use the one ruffled piece on each side, start at the bottom opening and pin to secure. Quarter inch top stitch to attach the ruffles to both sides of the center chest piece. Reattach both side pieces back onto the center chest piece. Pin to secure and quarter inch top stitch. To make ruffled sleeve, cut open the underarm seam of both sleeves. Measure 3 inches from the edge and mark with chalk. Cut along the line to make the new sleeve. Copy onto the other sleeve. To finish the ruffled sleeve, Pin the ruffles to the armhole opening and quarter inch top stitch. To finish the ruffle crop top, smooth the edges of the ruffles, 
round the corners and give a natural curve that drapes nicely. Cut 1 inch diagonal pieces off at the end of the each ruffle on the front and back of the top to complete this DIY ruffled crop top. For this poof sleeve crop top tutorial, start by folding the t-shirt in half mark 16 inches down from the high point on the shoulder. Draw a straight line across and cut to make a crop top. Cut along the armhole seam to detach the sleeves. To make the poof sleeves, trace the existing armhole line but add 2 inches to the top and bottom of the sleeve. By doing so, you gain poof around the shoulder and also have enough shirring around the sleeve opening. Use a number 6 stitch width to quarter inch top stitch 6 inches along the top of the shoulder opening. Pull the back thread to create a slight bunching around the top of the shoulder opening. Fold the new sleeves in half and quarter inch top stitch the underarm seam. Pin the new sleeve to the armhole opening and quarter inch top stitch. To finish the hemline, cut a 28 inches long piece of quarter inch elastic band. Attach both ends of the elastic band to make a loop. Slide the loop over the hemline and top stitch to secure. Stretch the elastic as you sew to create a balloon silhouette. To finish the poof sleeves, cut a 10 inch piece of quarter inch elastic. Attach both ends of the elastic band to make a loop. Slide the loop over the armhole opening and top stitch to secure. Stretch the elastic as you sew to create a balloon sleeve silhouette to complete this DIY poof sleeve crop top. For this tie front crop top tutorial, start by folding the t-shirt in half. Mark 17 inches down from the high point on the shoulder. Draw a straight line across and cut to make a crop top. Mark 3 inches from the folded line on the bottom opening. Mark 5 inches from the folded line on the shoulder seam. Draw a straight line to connect both points. Only cut along the lines to detach the front center of the top from both sides. Cut along the back neck band to completely detach the center piece. To make the tie front, use the excess fabric to cut two separate 5.5 inch wide pieces. Fold each piece in half lengthwise, then mark 11 inches from the side opening. Draw a diagonal line on each side and cut. Open the pieces and flip the top piece over so that the front side are both facing inwards. Quarter inch top stitch around the outside edge to attach the tie front pieces together. Afterwards, flip the tie front pieces inside out. To attach the tie front pieces, Mark 5.5 inch down from the shoulder seam. 
pin the tie front pieces to both sides of the chest and quarter inch top stitch. To finish the center opening, return the center piece of the top. Draw a line across the center piece that is half inch above the bottom of the tie front pieces. Cut to remove the top of the center piece. Hem the new top of the center piece. Reattach both sides of the front center piece. And half inch hem the new bottom opening. And half inch hem the new neckline. Tie a knot with the front pieces to complete this tie front crop top. For this side ruched crop top tutorial, start by folding the t-shirt in half lengthwise. Mark 15 inches down from the high point on the shoulder, draw a straight line across and draw a straight line across underneath the neckband and another line along the arm seam. Cut along the line, resulting in two large pieces of fabric. Trim the edges to make the line straight. To make the crop top, quarter inch top stitch both side seams and half inch hem the new top and bottom opening. To make the shoulder straps, use the excess fabric to make 8 pieces of 1 inch wide straps. Cut one side of each strap. Attach two pieces together to make four separate extra long straps. Fold each piece in half lengthwise and edge top stitch. Use a loop turner to flip each strap inside out. To make the ruched pieces, open the underarm seam of both sleeves. Cut two separate 1 inch wide pieces of fabric from each sleeve. To finish the ruched pieces, Place two vertical straps 8 inches apart from each other on the front of the crop top. Pin to secure and top stitch along the center of each strap. Do the same on the back of the crop top. Place two vertical straps 8 inches apart and top stitch along the center of each strap. To finish the shoulder straps, chalk mark 7 inches from the folded center of each strap. Lay one shoulder strap on each side of the center line of the ruched piece. Line up the chalk mark with the top opening of the crop top. Use the ruched panel to overlap the shoulder strap. Pin to secure the panel in place and top stitch along the side of the panel to lock the shoulder strap in tunnel. Do the same for the opposite side. Lay one shoulder strap on each side of the center line of the ruched piece. Line up the chalk mark with the top opening of the crop top. Use the ruched panel to overlap the shoulder strap. Pin to secure the panel in place and top stitch along the side of the panel to lock the shoulder strap in a tunnel. Ruche the fabric using the shoulder straps and tie a cute bow tie with the end to complete this DIY side ruched crop top. Thank you so much for watching this t-shirt into crop top upcycle tutorial. 
please leave a comment below and let me know which one you like the most. What are some other ways to upcycle t-shirt? Share with me and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!